Businesses want to provide uninterrupted access to Microsoft Exchange Server, which is a widely used messaging platform for email communication. Failure of Exchange results in unacceptable operational and financial loss, which implies data protection should be planned for. NetApp Snap Center tightly integrates with Microsoft Exchange to enable application-aware VSS-based backups of Exchange environments. SnapCenter Backup is kicked off based on the policy assigned to the resource group that contains the Exchange databases. The requester, which is SnapCenter, sends a backup command to the Microsoft Volume Shadow Copy service in Windows through the SnapCenter plugin for Exchange. Microsoft VSS prepares the Exchange Writer in Exchange Store for the backup operation by freezing the input-output to the Exchange databases which need to be protected. SnapCenter plugin for Windows, which is the VSS storage provider, creates a point-in-time snapshot of the volumes hosting the Exchange databases that need to be backed up. Once the snapshot operation is complete, Microsoft Exchange Writer is notified of the backup completion to thaw the Exchange databases to resume regular operations. Microsoft VSS then acknowledges to NetApp Snap Center of the successful backup operation and the status reflects the same in the jobs page in SnapCenter. Here, the SnapCenter server is installed on the Windows operating system. To enable data protection of Microsoft Exchange using SnapCenter, you need to add Exchange hosts and install the necessary plugins. As a prerequisite for this, you need to set up your storage system connection to connect to the storage virtual machine containing the data volumes hosting Exchange data on the ONTAP storage system. Set up Run As Credentials, which is the account used to authenticate for SnapCenter operations, such as installing the SnapCenter plugins or performing data protection operations on Exchange databases. Use SnapCenter Add Hosts wizard to add Exchange hosts which can be a standalone or a database availability group. And then install the necessary plugins on these remote exchange hosts using either the SnapCenter GUI or the PowerShell commandlet. These prerequisite configurations need to be complete before you embark on protecting your exchange resources, which are exchange databases or database availability groups. The backup policy contains a set of rules that govern the SnapCenter backup, such as backup type, database availability group settings, schedule frequency, retention, and pre and post scripts that need to be run. Let's go ahead and log into SnapCenter using appropriate credentials. The dashboard provides a quick glance of the SnapCenter and Exchange environments. The Get Started section enables you to configure SnapCenter in a step-by-step -step fashion. In this demo, I'm showcasing how to protect Exchange resources like databases and database availability groups. For the drop-down list for the plugin, ensure you have Microsoft Exchange Server selected. In the drop-down list for view, you can choose to select the resource that you want to protect. In this case, I'm selecting database and choosing an Exchange database to protect. The topology page for the database lists the backups that currently exist for the database. Click on Protect to begin the Protect Resource Wizard. You can choose to configure the custom snapshot name for the backup snapshot. Check the checkbox to use custom snapshot format for the backup snapshot. For custom text in this example, I am giving it as SnapCenter for Exchange. Optionally, you can choose to append additional tags as listed there. Click on Next to proceed to Policies. Here in the drop-down list for policies, you can choose to select existing policies that have been already created or click on the plus sign to open the new Exchange Server Backup Policy Wizard. In the name section, provide a policy name for this backup policy. Click next to go to backup type. Here you can choose the backup type. Specify settings for the database availability group. Here you can choose to backup active copies or backup copies on specific servers which can be selected at backup time. Choose a scheduled frequency. For retention, you specify the retention settings for the full and log backups. Optionally specify pre and post scripts. Review the summary of the backup policy. Click finish. Ensure you select the policy that we just created from the drop down. 
click on the plus sign to configure schedule, review the policies settings, and click next to proceed with configuring notification. Review the settings in the summary page. Click finish to complete the protect resource wizard. Click on backup now to initiate the backup process of the selected database. For this backup, you can choose from multiple policies that were selected prior. In this case, I have one policy selected. Click backup. The activity panel will display the current backup job that was submitted. You can click on that job from the activity panel to view the specific details for that job. The primary backups will list the backup snapshot copy that was created using our custom snapshot naming convention. Thank you for watching this demo where I showcased how to backup Exchange resources using SnapCenter.